Well, good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of The Hunt for Bronze. As you can tell, it is bloody dark. Uh, it's 10 o'clock the night that we've started at Mondi Dam. First video in the series, um, and what I'm going to make this to be is our next five. You may have seen a couple of next fives I've done before, but if you're not used to this concept, all it is is it's going to be me and special guest now, Andy, talking about the next five lures we're going to use for Mondi Dam kind of tomorrow and what we would do first going to a dam when we haven't seen it for me in months, Andy's years. Yeah, this low years. Yeah. Yeah. So this low, the last time I saw it this low was 2010? Yeah. 2010? For me, it would have been like, like 2010, 2009. Yeah, it would have been like the start of it. Um, even compared to last time I came and fished it, and you guys saw the, the episode I did on that, hopefully. If you haven't, just go to the channel and have a look. But um, it, it's even lower than then, and it's at the days where Mondi of old is kind of coming back which is exciting for me and Andy because we're both both Mondi anglers from a while back. Um, anyway, we're going to crack on. Uh, I'm going to start with Andy. Um, so we rock up to a point or bay tomorrow. What's the first lure you're going to throw? Um, lethal lures, timber. Yep. Nice and silent. And I'm going silent because early morning I'm just nice and subtle. Yep. Might be, I'll whack some bigger hooks on that actually just so it'll suspend. Yep, yep. But I'll test it out in the morning, make sure it suspends. And then if that doesn't work, I'll go to either a bent minnow, yep. the 106 or 130. I've got the 106 on at the moment with some bigger hooks, so it suspends there, bigger hook on the front. And if not that, then a 7 inch unweighted Z Man jerk shad. So just give him a look at that Z Man. Um... If you're not a normal barra angler, you may not know this technique. Um, it's actually a pretty common one used up north, especially in Kinchant. Um, but it's and it's been used for years. It essentially it's a jerk bait that slowly sinks, or in the Z-Man's case, slowly suspends because a little bit of weight on it. Mm. Um, but you can walk the dog with it under the water and real subtle, awesome, especially for those dams like I guess Faust. Um, Kinchin that you can sight cast at and your smaller dams like uh, Lenthal's and Team Barra as well. I mean, I know I've pretty much rattled off most Barra dams. <laughs> um, but hold up that bent. Uh, give, yeah. give them a good look at it. Um, I'm not a bent minnow fan, but I know they work. Just because I don't the, like um, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. That's the 106. Might be a little, or won't be too small, I know they'll eat it, but I've also got the 130s as well that'll, um, just a bit bigger. Yeah, sick. Alright, so for myself, I've got a bit of a different approach tomorrow. Um, well, I've got a few same approaches, but a little bit different. So my first cab off the rank is going to be a slightly smaller jerk shad imitation. That's a Damiki uh, armor shad on a big old weedless hook. I think that's like a 5.0. As you can see, it's pretty big, but that should let it walk the dog pretty easy. Um, and to match that early morning, I've got a shallow jerk bait, but I've gone the noisy option. Um, knowing Andy himself has gone the, the silent, I thought the best approach for me would be to go with something with a bit, of, a bit more rattle. I've just got to get it off here. <laughs> but a shallow, so I can get it right up on those shallower edges, especially that early low light when they're going to be feeding up there. And that's the little blister there. Well, little big blister. I think it's a 125 mil. Real deep rattle with a cast weight in it that'll cast it a mile. Um, and a bony brim pattern with a bit of bright underneath. Going from that, um, Obviously, we're going to kind of fish all the lures we've got in our hands for a while, work out what they want. As the day moves on, I'm going to progress to a deeper, deeper jerkbait. Yeah. Andy's got the same as well. Um, for me, I've got the Damiki Abyssus. It's kind of a 90 mil jerkbait in an AU color because everyone loves a ghost AU. Um, again, that rattles, but the ball bearings in it cast back, so it should cast a mile. Andy's got, I've got the pretty um, similar but yeah. different. Um, I'm having a mind blank right now. Chase baits. No, Samiki. Samiki. Samaki. Samaki. Um, Reddick. Reddick. That's the one. There that's you go. it. And that's the 80 mil one. Yeah. 
in uh, white bait, I think that is. It's a good colour. Yeah, I really, really like that. Um, nice little colour. I actually use that colour heaps in the soft vibe, and I find it's absolutely killer. Um, and then moving on as the day progresses, I've got I've got two paddle tail plastic options um, or soft plastic swim baits, depending on what side of the world you're brought up on. <laughs> First one's the uh, Demiki anchovy shad, three eighth ounce head uh, with a stinger in the back of it, and the other one is the perch palms. I think it's a 150 mil, again three eighth ounce jig head with a wire harness to a treble at the back. It's kind of what I'm going with. And we're gonna just work those options until about lunchtime. And we're gonna chuff back here, reassess and go from there. But that's basically our plan. Mm. We're gonna hit the hay now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little brief video. Um, we haven't really broken down much what we're doing because we don't quite know yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, we actually are waiting to get out on the water and have a look. Mm. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Hope you guys really enjoy this series. Andy's keen, I'm keen. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.